Hi, I'm going to show you Emacs keyboard macro today. So I have here, I have this file, which is actually my keyboard macro tutorial. And the task I want to do is actually, uh, you see this table here? That's this table. And I want to change it to a list instead of table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a macro. So I can play that macro and change this table to a list format and I can call the macro again on other pages. So let's let's begin. So first of all I want to place a cursor at the block I want. So start a macro, select the block, narrow to region, remove the mark then go to top replace table class equals to nrm replace that by nothing do it for then replace again table by nothing do it for all. Then go to top again, search for caption, okay, and uh, just cut the line. Then go to top, search for th. Uh, I, I should have used search instead of I called query replace, but that's fine. So exit, cut it, go to top, query replace again, trtd, replace it by li, for all, go to top, do it again, query replace, td, TR replace it by slash li replace all go to the top again one more time curry replace this time it's slash td td and I want to replace it by let's say arrow space do it for all and uh, now again go to the top insert ul then go to the bottom then go to the last left bracket wait actually go to the bottom Remo remove blank lines insert slash li okay add a space and uh, widen okay that's what I want now stop macro so now if we look at the browser yes that's what we want that's um, okay well, there's a mistake. The, the last line should be UL, not LI. You know, it, it's a pain whenever you have a mistake in macro, you have to do it all over again. So, well, what should we do? Well, actually, let's try to edit the macro then, because, um, yeah, okay, so I'm going to call save last, okay, wait name last keyboard macro let's say tgt okay now insert keyboard macro tgt okay and now i want to find this is should be u l so that's my macro so let's copy the macro and go to my emacs init uh, 
Emacs settings. I, I, actually, I have a macro file. Okay, to the bottom, paste it here. So this is a saved macro. So whenever, whenever I call TGT, it will execute that macro. So let's go back and see if that worked. So now I need a table table again. Uh, did we make a backup? No. Okay. So let's just do that. Git checkout. Okay. So that's a table. So let's so call the macro tdt. No, because it, it's not right because because we didn't save the macro. Close that. I mean, we saved it, but we we ch we we uh, edited it. We edited it, but we did not evaluate the code. So now we e evaluate the code. Go back to uh, here and. Uh, Revert again. Close. Reopen. Now you see it's table again. So now let's do the macro. Call T T. That's good. You see that's U L. So let's reload. So that's what I want. So that is done. That's recording a macro and uh, name the macro. Then insert the macro. So you can see the code. Then save it. So the the point of saving it is that um, the point of saving it is is so that you can put in your Emacs init. So when you restart Emacs, you can call the macro again. You know it's saved. Um, so let's close that. Close that. Uh, hey. Yeah. So close that. Now there is a. Um, Another file I want to do here. So let's see if I. Uh, so this is another page with lots of tables, and uh, I want to call my macro on it. So let's say it's such table. Okay, so this is not going to work because remember in my macro I've, I I first select the paragraph the block of text assuming that the whole table is um, the whole table does not have empty lines in between so so it won't work there I know so let's go back there okay all these got lines in between how about let's just remove those lines for now I should re record the macro so that it doesn't assume the empty lines but for now let's just um, remove those empty lines do it all okay table so there it is so we can let's try our macro uh, tt yes yes that looks like it that's working table call macro Search for table next table. Call macro. Search. Call. Search. Call. Search. Call. Search. Call. Search. Call. Search. No more caption. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, now in my macro, I also remove the caption, uh, but sometimes I may want it. But you know, for this example, let's just forget about that. I'll, I'll fix my page if I need to later. So let's look at it. So that's good. That's good. So so that's good. That's good. So. 
yeah so that's that's done so that's the use of macro let's see what I what, what else I have so you want to a demo of macro change table to list we did that play it now when you play it you can uh, the command you you call is call last keyboard macro um, which is this one there and uh, so anyway I have this keep uh, keyboard macro tutorial that contains uh, everything you need to know about keyboard macro what we have talked about is already written here so you can read it um, and uh, what else so that example we did apply macro to region lines yeah so also when you record a keyboard macro yeah let, let me show you an example so let's go here so I have uh, let's say I have um, so let, let's say I have a bunch of files what I want is to uh, show the title of the file for each path each path so how do I do that we can do it by a macro for example so let's start macro open the file go to the top search for title okay then start mark search to go move cursor to the end of angle bracket then go back to the beginning of angle bracket copy close file paste add a return and go to the next line go to the end of line add a return then move the cursor to the next line so that's it that's uh, how you record macro so now we stop macro you can see here so we started macro here and we stopped the macro uh, here so now let's call macro again uh, call last keyboard macro you see call it again call it again and you can do you can do um, there's a repeat complex command you see on the left panel you see the command repeat complex command and uh, the last command is this call as keyboard macro so I just say yes and I can use the same key to call it uh, yeah, let me let me show you well let, let me show you apply lines to keyboard so select all the lines then call apply macro to region lines uh, something screwed up yeah but but you see uh, several of them works oh because well th there's an error something screwed up because this file actually does not have any title so yeah so you know that is why it's screwed up so this one shouldn't be there this one apply macro uh, what? Yeah. Call last keyboard macro. Yeah, so uh, wait. Yeah, because okay, the cursor needs to be in the beginning of line. So let's try that. There it is. Okay, so that's keyboard macros. Um, okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.